According to history, the first combustion engine motorcycle was created in 1885. Since then, the motorcycle has come a long way. Some bikes are manufactured after years of design and testing, while some custom bike builders can put together dream machines in only a month. We thought we would take a look to see what we could find in the extreme department. We found monsters with tons of horsepower and some bikes that are beyond imagination. So sit back and relax as we show you 10 most insane motorcycles. Number 1. Kawasaki 1000 Ninja H2R If you want to talk about insane motorcycles, then the Kawasaki 1000 Ninja H2R should be a part of the discussion. Built and designed by Kawasaki Heavy Industries, the track-only variant is called Ninja H2R and produces a heart-stopping 310 horsepower and 326 horsepower with ram air. Power comes from a 998cc inline four-cylinder engine cradled in a steel trellis frame. To get such big power from so small an engine, Kawasaki outfitted it with a centrifugal supercharger, which provides an incredible 20 PSI boost. The HR2 has 50% more power than the fastest street-legal motorcycles, making it one insane choice for any bullet bike lover. Just remember that it's not street legal as it has far too much power for an unskilled rider. Number 2. Custom Bad Guys Chopper You might be familiar with Orange County Choppers as they had a popular series on TLC. They custom design and build some of the most wicked choppers on the planet. One that really stands out is the Custom Bad Guys Chopper. Everything on this bike is custom fabricated as you would normally expect from Orange County Choppers. This build features some seriously trick custom work like the spiked front fender, the billet aluminum ram headlight with red glowing eyes, and the blood spattered axes on each side of the back fender. The matte black and blood red color scheme lends itself to the bad guys theme perfectly. These guys custom build a lot of choppers with every ounce of creativity and imagination going into each one. It's rumored that the show will make a comeback, so stay tuned for more awesome creations from these guys. Number 3. Lazarus LM847 This custom machine was built by Ludovic Lazarus and his company Lazarus Motoring. This bike is literally built around a 4.7-liter Maserati 32-valve V8 engine that cranks out 470 horsepower. The bike itself weighs 900 pounds, with most of that being the engine, of course. Shifting is all done automatically by a single-speed vicious clutch automatic transmission with electronic reverse. It might seem like this bike would be impossible to turn, but with its split quad wheel design, it actually handles pretty well. Turning this monster might seem impossible, but is done by tilting left and right. It has four single-sided swing arms, one for each wheel, rim-mounted brakes, and dual hub center steering. To the objective eye, the Lazarus LM847 might seem like a collection of impractical ideas and awkward over-engineering resulting in an unrideable engine with a seat. But surprisingly enough, this quad motorcycle actually works. Number 4. Ducati 1299 Super Legara This bike is one of the most powerful twin-cylinder bikes that Ducati has ever produced. The powerful 215 horsepower twin cylinder engine only needs to push a mere 368 pounds. You heard that right. Claimed dry weight is 339.5 pounds and curb weight at 364 pounds with a 4.5 gallon aluminum fuel tank three quarters full. The Ducati 1299 Super Lagara is an exercise in power to weight ratio, with the main focus being weight reduction with its carbon fiber skeleton and better peak power. With that kind of insane power to weight ratio, you're going to have your hands full. That is, if you were lucky enough to get your hands on one of the $80,000 machines. All 500 of the 2017 were sold out with a waiting list in case a purchase fell through. Number 5. 
the hydrostatic, twin-turbo, diesel-powered, AWD, all-wheel drive motorcycle. Sam Turner got his first motorcycle at the age of 8, and by the age of 12, Sam's father had taught him how to weld, and he's been welding things ever since. Sam is now a diesel technician, and his love for motorcycles, combined with his knowledge of diesel systems, helped him to build a one-of-a-kind 840cc Yanmar Direct Inject Diesel V-Twin Motorcycle. This is a custom-made chopper running two turbochargers with an intercooler from Suzuki Swift. The hydrostatic system uses wheel motors that are turned by hydraulic fluid, and it has an air system that raises and lowers the bike for parking. While Sam was building it, it started to take on somewhat of a military look, so he went with it, and it has a jerry can as a fuel tank, and a custom fabricated gun heat shield, and two 2.5 gallon air tanks to look like bombs. It seems that some people don't appreciate the design and ingenuity, so we'd like to know what you think. Let us know in the comments. Number 6. Harley-Davidson Night Rod Special V-Rod Geo No motorcycle list would be complete without a Harley-Davidson. And if you're going to include one, it should certainly be a Night Rod. This Harley-Davidson Night Rod Special was taken and further customized by Bad Boy Customs in Germany, who added a list of aftermarket accessories and custom parts. The all-satin black bike is built around a liquid-cooled, 60-degree V-twin, 1250cc revolution engine that is stuffed full of racing-derived serious business like dual overhead cams, four-valve heads, and velocity stacks feeding its double-barrel exhaust. The look of this bike is incredibly impressive with its massive rear tire, low-aggressive profile, and drag strip inspired handlebar. If you need a motorcycle to represent your dark side, this would be your best choice. Number 7. Confederate Motorcycles P-51 Combat Motorcycle This motorcycle has probably the strangest look and design of any motorcycle on the market. It is designed and built by the company Confederate Motorcycles. The P-51 is so different in that it has some see-through sections, including the gas tank and the air lifters for the carburetors. Everything on this bike has been completely re-engineered. Some say the bike is over-engineered, and some say it's downright ugly. One thing is certain, the look of this all-polished billet aluminum bike will surely attract a lot of attention. Number 8. Ballistic Cycles 30-inch Hubless Wheel Twin Turbo Harley Bagger Ballistic Cycles went all out when they built this custom Harley-Davidson bagger. For those who aren't familiar with this term, a bagger is like a full dress or touring bike. And even though this doesn't have any saddlebags on it, it does support a twin turbo liquid cooled engine with a full aluminum body. Up front is a 30 inch hubless wheel, which is the very first of its kind in size and really adds to the look of this incredible and impressive looking motorcycle. The entire front end is a completely one off design. Each and every part of the front end is custom for this feature. The hubless wheel is machined from a solid piece of billet aluminum, and the brake system is integrated into the wheel. The mechanics behind the hubless wheel features all the latest technology and completely pushes the boundaries of what is possible. Number 9. The BMW K75 Alpha Bullet Bike what do you get when you cross the ideas of a high-tech industrial designer from Istanbul and a motorcycle builder from Utah? You get an insane-looking motorcycle that is a land-speed racer, complete with a front-body design that resembles a great white shark, which was Mark's idea. Designer Mehmet Durak Erdem and builder Mark Atkinson have joined forces to bring to life the BMW K75 Alpha Bullet Bike. Maymet started computer designing the BMW Alpha online after seeing legendary Bonneville racer Alp Singertekken with his Triumph pre-unit motorcycle. This bike was designed specifically for salt flat racing and going after the land speed record. It was built from the concept designed by Mark Atkinson. Now, the ideas of both men have come together. So far, it hasn't been tested yet, 
but we're certain that when it is tested, it will probably set some records. Number 10, the Boss Haas Motorcycles 502 Big Block 8200cc is a motorcycle frame stuffed with a big block Chevy engine. Yes, you heard that right. Sitting in the middle of this frame is a liquid-cooled 502 cubic inch engine that delivers 502 horsepower and 567 foot-pound of torque. Now, you might not be able to use all that power on the road, but people will definitely hear you coming and this bike is sure to turn a few heads. Unfortunately, the big block engine is no longer available, but Boss Haas still makes custom small block V8 motorcycles to order. So, if you're looking for a really insane motorcycle with V8 engine power, these are the guys to talk to.